same uh, things I told your colleagues. Let's try, colleague, let's try to emphasize more bit the difference because the beginning it was, in my opinion, to to emote and sometimes to perform spells of work uh, when when you can give me a, really give more fire power. And then we will work a bit about the bow because sometimes you have pro probably it's because of the colophonium. Sometimes you have a problem with the change of the bow. Once again, the beginning. <laughs> this phrase otherwise it's too difficult to understand you on the on the on the for the audience so you understand fortissimo but not push with the bow so always with the elegance and then you make a difference with, with the phrase now here can you really exaggerate to the minimum pianissimissimissimo like uh, almost, you almost uh, need to think I'm performing with sordino, but it's not a sordino, because it helps you to make a difference. More same, the same, uh, more or less the same uh, issue we had with your friend with Haydn. So contrast. Uh, second phase after this after introduction. The, oh, oh, the second phase, yes, um, the part in piano. Nice. It's possible for you all to more piano. Let's try. Yeah. 
the, the piano passage was very nice. I was um, speaking about the fault in our... <laughs> Which kind of exercise you use to study regularly? Well, my teacher has developed uh, his own exercise, and I always use his method to work on. Mm -hmm. It's and about it open the string, op open strings. Yes. Okay, just a second. I show you something because sometimes we have uh, problems because of the tension, which is of course very normal, but the. the Really legato, tone, each tone, not uh, intermission. Sometimes I exaggerate, of course, sounds like uh, beautiful, but uh, too much uh, intermissions between the notes, you know what I mean? So try to really have a legato, but of course the, the bow uh, needs to help you. Okay, uh, let's go forth with the concerto after the. Falling. Yes, fall. Can I ask you, sorry, which kind, which kind of color, uh, colors have you here written? Mezzo forte, piano, pianissimo, because I don't remember now. Here, uh, I was thinking about between mezzo forte and forte. So it's the lyrical passage or not? In yeah, lyrical passage. And do you need really to vibrate, vibrate every, to every note? Or is not necessary? Do you, do you think it's, it's necessary to vibrate every note? Yeah. Or uh, you can also like to have a bridge. For for example, we have a sequence of three notes. The first note is like a bridge, so the, the door of the other two notes. But perhaps you don't really need to vibrate every note because this, if you focus to the vibrate every note, you lose tempo, you know? The, it becomes uh, slower, the tempo. And it, this is, of, co of course, not a good thing in the music context. So, in my opinion, you can really try to vibrate, for example, just the first ta, 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 di, ta, di, ta just as an experiment. Big difference. I, I don't know if your colleagues agree, but for me, it sounds much better. More musical, more inti in, in intimacy, intimacy of the context with context. Better. So let's say again, and then we continue.
Eucalypse Temple. Let's perform this passage once again. Do you perform ta ta te te ta ti ta ti ta? Perhaps it's not the right uh, the right way. Rhythm we we need to give a look to the score. Okay. <laughs> Now you are also very well to change the the, the sounds. Now it sounds not anymore forced on the bridge because you take uh, attention is important. Bravo! So let's go quarter. Same passage or yes, same passage and then we go. We go. On. Let's try to, to make the tempo slow and don't force the bridge. It will be it will it sounds much better if you try. Um, first yeah, la, yes, yes, last last passage. This, this sequence, yes. Also with the most small tempo uh, slower tempo, just as to ex experiment. So you don't need to make the normal tempo now. Just focus to the my ED and then we, we make the we try to make the difference. <laughs> Let's let's try to use uh di to te di ta to the last notes always more and more and more bow, yes. Just a bit more bow. Okay. <laughs> you are still in the middle. Let's try to, to, to reach the point without forcing. Oh, uh, I know it's, it's difficult, but try. Let's try. Exactly. Let's try now in tempo, taking care of the speed and of the color of the kind of uh, quality of the sound. For example, it's one one after, but it can it can become can be better. Once again. Mm -hmm. Much better. Uh, let's try to to make the tempo slow a bit earlier. Not not exactly the last five more five notes. So try to start a bit earlier. Slow and more tempo in the end. Exactly. Okay. 
For example, once again. The sound is much better. Let's try to let's try to now to make in tempo. Okay. Uh, try now to make the tempo slower just to the <laughs> last three notes. Okay. Just to, to control the quality of sound. Okay. Have you questions or something to clear up, or shall I show something? Because it's, uh, this moment exactly is the matter of bow, just bow, because the left hand part is not so complicated. You know? So you need really try to speak with your bow. Uh, it was the end of the first moment as I uh, read it now. Sorry. It was the end of the first moment now, or yeah. not, almost. So m let's, uh, let's uh, the do the beginning once again. Try to memorize what I told, just to, to check if it sounds better or not better. It was a bit too much with the tempo, but it, but it was musically really nice.
Nice, 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 much better than begin. The own problem, no problem, the point that you perhaps have to take care about is the just a couple of phrases if you are really fortissimo on the bridge because it's a pity. It was really nice. And it might, uh, if, if sometimes sound forced, it's a pity because you you have not a completely picture. So I just suggest you to taking care of this aspect, but f you need to isolate. You know, the, you don't need to repeat always the same passage. Such person is suggesting, try to, to, to find just a couple of exercises just for, for the bow and then it sounds really much, much better. In, in one or two days, one week, not more, you will see the difference. So try to emphasize low, a bit more movements, bow changes, especially in this zone, not a point. So here, with the change, changes of uh, strings. And let's try to, try to, to choose here. to do this exercise so if, if, let's say if you have to do this kind of exercise for example can you see the, the name of the book yes three yards ah, yeah. and let's try to do for example this variation the original one on the middle and then let's try to do the, the original one is okay Because it sounds so organic, so so uh, soft, not forced, not. Uh, let's try to do the point, the middle, sorry, middle of the bow.
one for the dot, the rest was beautiful, like Bach or not. Yeah. So if yes. you if you try to make this every day, for example, and also try to emphasize the color, so let's try really forte but without forcing, and then pianissimo, you you will perform it the best behavior of your life. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Congratulations. All the best.